I love these quiet mornings together. You, with the light of the rising sun in your hair and along your cheeks. You, with your eyes closed and your headphones in, sitting next to me on the bus to work. I love it when you slip your hand beside mine and let me hold it. Sorry that mine's always so cold. Yours are so warm and full of life. I could spend hours here beside you. I've noticed that you always let your head droop and have your temples press against the window panes. I think it's calming for you. The chill of the glass and the vibration of the bus. I've never asked you, though. I've got so much to ask you. But I can't help but feel tongue-tied around you. You're always so busy. I, I'm scared to interrupt. I know I should probably speak up more often. I'll try, Tiger. I promise that I will. But you have to promise to get better, too. I know that I'm not perfect, and I know that telling you that you need to change isn't right. I'm just, just worried, baby. Sometimes I come home and find you crying in the dark. Sometimes it goes on for hours. Have you been going to therapy? And I always hated your old therapist. I've been wanting to ask you if you got a new one. But I always just wait in those little leather chairs until you come back out. Have you ever noticed? When I, um, when you're falling asleep, I lean over and kiss your forehead. Twice, for good luck and sweet dreams. Sometimes it's like you're looking right through me. I know you don't mean to. Especially how things have been after... <sighs> That's... I'll, I'll try not to bring that up again. It's... A part of us, though. A part of me. Something that I wish I wouldn't have happened so soon, but... Right, right, I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't bring it up again. I'm trying. I feel like I have a lot of regrets. All those... Unsaid I love you's and times I stayed late at work when I could have been at home with you. Or during takeout and talking about all the cats we plan to adopt and their seriously stupid names. I'm sure Captain Catnip would have been a great addition to our apartment. You should still get them. Just because things are different now doesn't mean our old dreams together should die you know that right sometimes it's hard to believe that we used to live our lives without each other it always felt so natural to come home and see you asleep on the couch with the lights still on <laughs> I miss that at least I have more time to spend with you now is it Weird. That I draft so many things to say to you in my head? Probably. I'd die just to hear you call me a weirdo again. Or that laugh you do when it's quiet and they make a dumb face at you. I, 
I miss so many things now. That ramen place down the street. Shit, I miss that place. I'm sorry I'm being so sentimental. I can't help it. I wonder if you remember the time I took you to that carnival. I was so set on winning you something that I spent 30 minutes throwing darts at balloons until we won that giant plushie. Do you you still have that? Don't tell me you shoved it into your closet. We always would lose stuff in there. Spring cleaning practically turned into Christmas. I thought there was some closet monster coming and stealing our stuff or something. Turns out you just throw stuff in there when you're too tired to put it away in the right place. (laughs) Are you still that lazy? I hope so. You always look cute in pajamas. I love checking in on you to see you watching TV in those fuzzy PJ pants. The old ones with the Christmas patterns. I know I promised that we wouldn't talk about it, but we should eventually. I want you to know that you you shouldn't blame yourself for it. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with me, even. I didn't mean to leave you alone. But these things happen. Should have planned for it more, though. Should have talked about it more. You're so unprepared. Hell, I was so unprepared. All those phone calls I wished I could have made to friends, family, co workers. I wish I could have held you and told you that everything would be all right. I promise you, I swear that nothing that happened that night was as painful as seeing you cry. I didn't know you could scream like that. And I just had to watch. So sorry I didn't hold you then. I was scared. We were both so young and scared. I still feel so young and scared. And what has it been? Six months now? God, how time flies. Don't hurry, Tiger. You're so vibrant. So handsome and bright. I know it hurts, but I'll see you someday. It hurts me too. Having to wait so long for you, when you, you have so much ahead of you. And I'll be there for every step of it. If I could promise anything, I'll promise you that. That I'll be there for you, no matter what. I always have been. I always was, at least. And that doesn't have to change. I'm still here for these quiet times before you go to work, and I I still wait for you after your appointments. I still follow you around to the grocery store, looking as lost as ever. (laughs) I'm still here. Can you see me? Sometimes you smile like you see me. But sometimes you're so... distant. And when you get like that, I'll reach over and hold your hand. I hope you feel it. Maybe you can't see it, but I'm there. I'm here.
here, tiger. I'm here. Look at me, handsome. Just, just one last time. I don't know why I ramble like this. It's not like you can hear me. It's mostly for my sake. To stay sane while you're so close, but so intangible. I wish I could talk to you again. Really talk to you. I mean, not just sit beside you on the bus or move things around your apartment hoping you'll try and speak to me again. Trying to hold on to the things we used to have. Praying and praying for you to look at me and not through me. And weep. We'll both cry, I'm sure. I can't wait for that day. But until then, I'm here, quietly observing, quietly cheering you on, kissing you twice in the forehead every night, once for good luck, and another time for good sleep. I'll always be there to do those things, even if you don't notice. Even if I'm dead. Even though I'm dead now. As much as I hate to acknowledge that. Did you really think I'd let something come between us? <laughs> Don't underestimate me. Not even something as heavy as death could stop me from loving you. From being loyal, standing by you. So, I'll keep pretending that everything is normal if you keep going. Keep living life to the fullest. Jumping at every opportunity you're presented with. Taking every last thing off your bucket list. There's so much left for you to do, Tiger. There's no rush to get back to me. Promise me you'll try to experience everything, to keep going, to brighten someone's life like you did mine. 